This unboxing is brought to you by Coast Nights. So this is the R60M. It's a 310 watt system with a wireless subwoofer. And then I also bought this because the L that I have behind here is in the back of the move the dresser. And I'm gonna mount this to a sign and make it easier. And stronger, it's 1500 joules. So there it is, if you wanna look at the specs. Pause the video or just look it up yourself. <laughs> so, nice tape job, by the way. It's like they ran out of regular tape and just used it. <laughs> so, this is the best deal I saw for the best brand. Like, the LG ones, uh, if it was Yamaha, would have been a good deal. But, Samsung, this is $189 without tax. With the power strip and tax, it came out to $225, and that's without, like, the Walmart protection plan. I don't really trust that. I asked her what it covers, and she said, I don't know. So I said, you know what? Uh, no, thank you. So let's unbox it without further ado. As you can see, it's really heavy-duty tape. They put this handle here to grab it, but as you can see, it's not very strong. So if you buy this, make sure you grab it from elsewhere because there's openings here that they clearly didn't tape either. So, I mean, look at that. So here, taped good. This side, tape good. This side, not so much. Make sure that it's off. And then I should probably fold this this way, actually. <clears throat> it's bigger than I thought, too. Now, this is not the size of the soundboard. Obviously, there's, like, foam and stuff in there, but plenty for an apartment room. If I'm going to be on lockdown for the next fucking God knows how long, I'm going to enjoy it. And I just got my unemployment, so. <clears throat> I mean, to keep me going from stir crazy, then. Oh, do not tip the thing over. Okay, we're good on that sign. So. It's hard to do with one hand. I was going to move my battery back up over there, but I still need that stuff for other stuff, like for the lamp and stuff. So I'll keep that over there. Because that would have been perfect, but. This way I have two extra USB slots to charge over here, too. Because otherwise, I just use my extension cable, and that's really annoying. So, this is what it looks like when you open it. This is going to be the subwoofer. Um, so, obviously, there's a piece of foam, which just chuck it over there. Um, we got, looks like the digital optical audio cable. Now, that comes with one. I'm going to see how this one goes. I've never used this before, but I'll probably just end up buying the Monster one, which is $20. So, there's that. And then we have an open bag of directions. <laughs> Owner's manual. Pfft, who needs that? Uh, we have probably, it looks like the soap of a cable, maybe. Let's put that on here. And then, this could be the soap of a cable or the sound bar cable. Probably one of each. And then, obviously, the bricks to go with that. Um, yeah, see, this is the power cord. At least it's like a Samsung one. Like, you know, I've bought in phones and stuff, and then, like, the cable they give you is, like, I'm a different brand. So this is the remote. It already comes with batteries installed, which I like. The only thing I don't like about this is there's no, like, it says volume. But then, oh, that's cool. Never mind. I was going to say there's no dedicated volume button, but it's separate. Look, Wolfer, you can go up from here, and volume, you can go from here. So... After playing with it for two seconds, that's what she said. I really like the remote now. It's got a weird texture, grippy texture. That's kind of dumb, but... Because I was like, wait, you have to press this, and then maybe like this, like an Alexa remote or something? But no, it's just... That's cool. Wow, I'm geeking out on the remote. I've never had, like, a soundbar or anything in my life before. I did have some pre-speakers before. They were new form research speakers. If you look those up, they're like $1,000 each, and a Velodyne sub. My aunt's ex-husband had them, my aunt gave them to me, although I was in hard times, like a long, long time ago, and basically living out of my car, so I had to sell those, sadly. So, now is the only time I've had to get stuff like, oh, oh, that's nice, I'm going to wrap the actual subwoofer. Okay, the box just opens. Oh, well, that made it easy. So, if you're opening the Samsung sound bar, they make a door, and you could just slide it off like so. Wow, it's, it's, now... People are saying that the grill is mesh on here, which that's the only disappointment. So be careful with that. 
So I wish it was metal like the sound bar. So here's the subwoofer. It's pretty decent size. I mean, like with any speaker system like this, a sub is not going to be that great. But if you buy those like home theaters in a box, they're really horrible. And you spend like the same amount. So this is my subwoofer. I will. And it's like a backfiring subwoofer too. So, I mean, not the best call in the world, but we'll see how the bass is, I guess. I'm really picky with bass. Like, I like MTX Audio and Pioneer and not the most expensive shit either. It doesn't have to be expensive to be good, but. Get off. I hate the paper shit. Just try not to land this somewhere from the ground. Let me just move it. Uh, get. Oh, wait, paper. Okay, there we go. So, there's a subwoofer. I mean, it's not, like, super cheesy, lightweight, but it's not the heaviest thing in the world. But that'll do. Get get, get out of here. God. Okay, now, opening this, there's really no tape or anything. That's kind of shitty. I like how this box just completely opens up. Great job, Samsung. And this is just a bar. <laughs> Try not to break the shit because it'll never see it's pretty damn big. Holy shit, it is as big as the box. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and that that I was planning on putting there, but that might be a slight problem now. So, oh my god, yeah, this thing weighs a good amount too. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Oh my god, look at my stick. Oh yeah, that's a big stick. That's what she said. Oh, unwrapping. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh. Trying not to drop it. This is hard with one hand. I probably should have bought like a tripod. Wow, this thing is solid. Like the pictures don't do it justice. Let me tell you. Like, okay, the mesh is metal in the front, which is nice. The top is metal. Um, yeah, there's plastic on the bottom right here, but most of it's metal. So really nice quality. It's heavy. It's solid. Like, look how big this thing is. As you can see, there's multiple speakers, and I guess the center channel in there, too, so... That is probably barely gonna fit. I guess we'll have to find out. Oh my god, that's quite heavy if you have to hold that, so... Quite impressed with the soundbar. I don't need a special subwoofer, because I literally live in an apartment. And... Uh, that's the unboxing, so... Stay tuned for more videos, I guess. Use your manual. Gotta you throw all this crap back in there. And I'll show you, this is the surge protector I bought. So it's always nice to have two extra USB slots that charge a little bit faster. Not the fastest, but 1500 joules. Uh, you gotta look at this when you're buying these things, because this is only 310 watts, but this does, obviously, as you can see, 1800 watts. So I can plug in a lot of stuff to this, which is nice. And I got this, like I said, because I'm gonna plug this into the back behind my dresser. And then this is probably going to mount on that side. Hopefully with some Velcro. I guess we'll see if it's flat. And then you want to protect your stuff. So, I mean, obviously it's made in China, but GE is still pretty decent. It's a circuit breaker, obviously. It's got automatic shutdown technology. It stops power to device when surge protection expires. So that's nice. So if there's a problem, it shuts it down and turns your stuff off, which is great to have. It's got a power filter. I don't think it will do anything. It's got a light, obviously. These turn, too, which is nice. It's a flat plug, which is nicer. Now, I had a monster strip before, and I paid 20 bucks for it. I bought it at Best Buy a long time ago with my old home theater stuff. And it was, like, a little bit smaller on that battery backup. And one day, it just it put out this high-pitched beep, beep. And so it wouldn't reset. It wouldn't restart or nothing. So I took the Best Buy, and I'm like, I'm like, listen... My thing's making a really hideous noise, and I plug it in, and it won't stop. And he's like, well, does all your stuff still work? Because I had a computer plugged in, a flat screen, like a receiver, and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, then it did its job. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Then. So 20 bucks, literally saved, like, probably, like, five grand worth of stuff. So I'm hoping that's not the case with this. I'm hoping I could reset this one. But nonetheless, this is what I got. I don't need more than fucking seven net plugs. I'm literally going to have my TV, my router, and my subwoofer, and my soundbar plugged in. And then I technically have eight, because this only takes a one, so that's cool. 
So I'll probably just move my clean clothes and put the soap over there. Although my roommate's room is right there, so maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I will put it under there. That's a good idea. I'll clean that shit up. And yeah, that's unboxing basically. Sound bar and sub over. I guess we'll see. I mean, any base is no but better than no base. And basically, sound bars like these are like 130, 140, and this was 189. So you might as well just buy the wireless sub over too. So there we go, unboxing.